Oh, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video, another stream, another build. Yes, welcome back. As you can tell, I'm just working on doing a little bit of painting right now. And what am I painting? Well, I am painting the MS06J Zaku 2. This thing is by Bandai. This is a part of their Gundam series. So the Zaku is not actually a Gundam, it's just a mobile suit. Um, you guys who are Gundam fans, you already know this stuff. So this is it here, and as you can tell, I've been writing all over this thing because I am custom painting this guy. As you can see, I have a little bin of parts here. Last time, I showed you guys how to dismantle the thing. Um, because unlike most of my videos where I show you guys how to assemble everything, I've done the reverse with this guy. You guys didn't get to see how it goes together, but you did get to see me take it all apart yesterday. And so I spent the rest of the day um, priming every single little piece on this guy um, and figuring out what my color scheme is actually going to be on it. And so what I've decided I'm going to do his feet in a light gray. These, this part of his legs is going to be a darker gray. Okay, so what I've decided to go with is gunship gray for the dark gray, and I'm going to go with dark gull gray for the light gray. So there's our two colors. Okay, so feet will be light gray, but lower legs. Will be, or calves, I guess, would be, uh, are going to be dark gray. The upper calves, they're going to be a light gray again. Then his whole body, including the skirt, all in here, that's all going to be dark gray, including his head, that will be dark, okay? His shield will be dark gray, and his shoulder piece will be dark gray. His hands and his lower arms will be light gray. And I'm going to do the upper arms, uh, upper arms black, but his little square shoulders, those will be light gray also. That's the scheme I'm going for, okay? I'm going to be starting with the lighter gray first, and then because it's easier to transition down to a darker color than it is to transition to a lighter color. And that will allow me to not necessarily have to totally clean my air gun or airbrush, air gun, airbrush, whatever you call it. Um, I won't have to totally clean it out. I can just, uh, once I'm done with the light, I can take some water, put it in there, squirt it out, blow it out, good enough, and then put some dark in there and continue painting. So, um, depending how long this takes me, um, will depend on how much you get to watch. I will uh, change the cam once I actually get started painting here. Um, so. I have my pieces all kind of laid out. These are all going to be the light. Okay, I've got one, and I've got two. So these are all going to be the light gray. Of course, having to paint each and individual one, these are all going to be dark gray, so that I just have them put in a little bin. And I do have a few select pieces that are just going to be left black. Okay. So, this I can put aside. This can go in the little black bins. These guys are staying this, these colors. I have all my gunmetal ones. They are all done and painted. And so, I'm going to start on these. And we're going to be starting with the light gray. Alright, that's what we're doing today. So, we got to get our paint prep and all this good stuff. one by one. Now I am going to attempt doing pre-shading, okay, which is why I went with black for the primer. Um, because when I paint these, you'll notice I'm going to try not to go right to the very edge of the part with the paint. I'm going to try and leave, let it fade to this black along each edge, okay. 
um, and that should at least because I've never done it right I'm like you guys know I'm kind of new to the whole airbrush thing and so airbrush techniques and stuff like that are totally new to me okay so this is my first time actually trying to use utilize the pre-shading technique okay so so yeah there you go there's my disclaimer right off the bat if I do a crappy job you know why <laughs> so first of all I'm gonna take these all out of my little cardboard thing so that I can grab them all one by one and then after done I'm done painting I can put them back in I have my air compressor already fired up and ready to go so there's that okay so let's put this over here I've got two of them ready to go here Parts like this, like this is just a little tiny guy, that's going to be almost impossible for me to appreciate it, so I'm not even going to bother trying. Once I get some coverage on there, I'm going to be happy with that. Jordan, hello, I do graphic design, so if you need work done like a logo, banner, panels, overlays, DM me on Twitter. Okay, Jordanus, I'll give that some thought. Thank you. So, we will see how this goes so this is uh, the Vallejo model air stuff I don't have to thin it so I can just spray straight from the gun straight out of the bottle pour it in and that's kind of nice it cleans up with water so that's gonna make clean up a little bit easier a little simpler less complicated than if I were to use the Tamiya paints that I've been using a lot recently especially on that uh, turpins that was all to me a pain. That should be a good start. Okay, let's get started here. I'm going to switch my camera and you get to watch. Now, I don't know if I got a chat window on my cam so I can take a look. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Let me pop out my chat here just so I can see it in a different window. Okay, let's switch the camera and you get to see what I'm doing right over here. Let's start with that super tiny little guy. You get to see my big fat lady again. just kind of done and that was quick and fast nice and easy <clears throat> so I could try and not pull back as far like this piece doesn't kind of gets hidden right so you don't get to see as much I think that's pretty good for that you know I'm not really gonna see that thing under there where's if I can find the other half there it is
is kind of that fine line to how far to pull back on the trigger to get paint to flow but not come out really crazy.
Except for the light grey. Everything else is going to be dark grey. So, let's have a look here. I want to see something real quick. Alright, so there you go. Here's a little session on airbrushing <laughs> and, and how to do it wrong. I mean, Oops, I guess it's time to get rid of this glove. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So, that's about it. And that's really all it is as far as the technique and, and everything like that. So I'm just going to clean out my little my brush here. These are all nice and dry now, so I can take them off of these little guys. These ones might still be a little tacky, but these ones have been sitting, so these are going to be fine. So, I can start working on... Okay, so that's that. We've got two things ready, but we need to... See, I've got some already on clips. But not all of them. There's a big shield guy. 
So I've got to paint inside and outside on this one. So that's a bit unique. Same with the shoulder pad. You got to paint inside and out. You know, when I was priming this guy, or not priming him, when I was putting it together, I was looking at it and I'm thinking, you know, they basically designed the Zaku to look like a football player. Not European football, but uh, like an American football player. Um, the big honking shoulder pads. Huge shoulders, you know, just all that kind of stuff. And yeah, to me, it looks just has football player vibes, <laughs> I guess, for lack of a better term. Move these guys aside while these guys are ready to go. <clears throat> Let's do this. As I got them on clips, put them in their little box. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this guy with the primer first. Just so it's nice and covered and I don't have to try and match the line of dark gray with the light. So there's that. You get a pig, you get a pig, everybody gets a pig. Peg, clip, whatever you want to call it. So we are ready for the dark gray. And that again is the uh, medium gunship gray. Okay. I'm tempted to put a little bit of flow improver in this because I noticed sometimes Sometimes it was kind of, even though I'm holding the, the trigger at the same spot, it's coming out lightly, 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 and then it suddenly would do that. <laughs> and uh, that's not fun, and that's not how I want it to go. So, so yeah, it's, um, yeah, um, I have, yeah, um, well, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know if I have more or less dark gray parts than I do light gray, but let's see. We'll see how she sprays. Hopefully it sprays well. Okay, let's start with our first piece. Oh yeah, changing camera. Sorry guys. Here we go. Doink. Bottle, it's 
flowing, you know, it's painting nicely, it's, it's flowing really good. But of course it's not had any time to start drying, and that's a big factor. Now I want to put my little cap back on here. some bubbles because the paint is drying and I'm getting some tip drying on here so I've got to deal with that before I go any further. <laughs> Alright, <clears throat> so I need to do this guy. I need to do the inside and then I will put a clip on him. Bob the Builder, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry if I 
Uh, let's see. Oh, it's only been about five minutes, <laughs> eight minutes since uh, you put that message in. Um, yeah, sorry, it's just a little, obviously, a little focused on painting there. Finally, these are done. And, uh, yeah, so with waiting a few minutes, now it's just going to be cleaning the airbrush time. And, uh, oh, you're still there. Good. Um, yeah, it's time to clean out the airbrush, and uh, by the time this is finished being cleaned, you probably start the reassembly on this guy. And getting him put back together. We will see very shortly. Max. Watanabe? Who's that? Black basin anymore. I don't know. I'm I'm really new to the whole airbrush thing and doing a uh, you know like you say the black basing the uh, that black pre shading. Um, I'm extremely new to it, and uh, this is actually the first time I've used this technique, so uh, I don't know who Max Watanabe, if that's his name, <laughs> that's how you pronounce it, I don't know who he is. is called the Max Tech. Oh, okay. Max Tech. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I see, you know, I don't know if it's unique to Gundam or not, but um, I see guys painting their airplanes with um, a black primer first, post or pre-shading, right? You have the pre-shading and post-shading, whatever you want to do. And well, I already know that my skills in airbrushing will not allow me to post-shade, <laughs> so. Um, pre-shading is the way to go for me, and so I figured I'd give it a chance, give it a shot, see how it comes out, and, uh, yeah, and kind of go from there. He did a lot of the early box art by painting kits in that style. Oh, okay. I gotcha. There we go. Nice clean needle. Pre-shading is when the black panel lines and then top color when they black. Yeah. Um, basically, putting your dark color down first and then not painting to the edge, right? There we 
go. Airbrush clean. Done and done. Okay, let's get this thing assembled. Or at least get started on it anyway. We're going to start with... What are we going to start with? We've got lots of parts to put together now. And all kinds of things. We can go back to refer back to the instructions. And uh, there's also a starter white version that's good on light colors. Oh, okay. So I can go back to the body unit here and we can put his little parts that I took out of him earlier back in. Mainly his chest pieces here. Remember which side is which. Yeah, I think this side goes here. Airbrush the center white and then color over. Oh, okay. That's definitely a different technique. goes on top here, just like that, okay, then what have we got to do, that's all I took apart on the top here, right, so I have to put, I've got that together, I've got hoses, hoses got to go on, it's this guy, and this guy, yeah, there are so many ways to paint it. That is true. Depending on what your preference is, right? Um, and obviously your skill set. Yeah, like, you're like me. I can't... I'm nowhere near a point where I can paint a nice, fine, straight line. That's just not going to happen for me. I'm nowhere near any kind of skill level that's going to allow me to do that. Not yet. So... It's... Uh, yeah, it is what it is when it comes to that. It's just uh, going to take time before I can do even think about anything like that. I love flash, flashy candy and chrome. Yeah. It definitely looks good. Okay, this has to go this way. Kind of like that. That goes together. And this does the same thing. Alright. So this goes in the back here. So it connects right there. I almost want to glue these pieces in because they kind of come out, they come dislodged fairly easily. Tempted to glue it. Whoops. <laughs> That's not gonna help. Hey, look at that, stay together. Okay. So those are together and I gotta put the little cap on the front of it there, I believe. Gonna be next. Uh, do do do. Yes. Okay. So where'd that cat go? He's over here somewhere. This guy here. And that's gonna go along with this guy next. And which way is up? That way is up. Just like so, and then this piece goes 
in like this. Just like that. Yeah, unfortunately, this particular guy, he's not very flashy. And I've gone with uh, gray tones to be in an attempt to be a little bit more military-like. Um, yeah. Okay, so just double checking, we got backpack and we got his side pieces. These guys go on here and here. together. We've got that there. Now oh, we've got his little mouthpiece. So many pieces just for the head. It's ridiculous. Okay, so first part that goes down is this. Right? Except i got to have it the right way around. for this. get this together the first time. I think because I got it put together in the wrong order. And that's exactly what I did wrong is I put it in the wrong order. There we go. Okay, with that done, Next is little tubes. is in. Okay. And then helmet goes on top. There we go. And then we got his little mouthpiece. So that's it for the head. The head is on. So I can put the head 
down here. And that concludes the head assembly. And that takes us to the arms. Boom, arm one, arm two. Okay, so the arms, we've already have all this inner stuff put together, so we gotta go with what we're doing here. So we have these pieces, and I've got these guys over here to look at. So the first one, I need these, and I need the forearms, these guys. So the first thing to do, we're going to take this arm here, we want it facing in our proper direction, like this, okay? This guy goes on in this direction here, or like this, okay? Just like that. And then this piece goes on, okay? And it goes on here. It kind of gets lined up with this here. It's a little bit of a struggle to determine the exact spot until it's it's like oh it doesn't go it doesn't go it doesn't go snap and the, oh okay it does go see so just like that right And then we have our big square shoulders. These guys here. Pull goes through just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now we have our upper arms. little elbow pads these do only go one way so it's just a matter did you fluke out and get it right the first try Did I do this right? <laughs> I don't know. So we're supposed to have it like this. This is supposed to be twisted like that. Okay. And then we take our blocking one like this. Uh, see? See, now it, it all makes sense, right? And then we take our other one and it goes the other opposite direction. Just like that, boom. Okay, now let's do that with this guy. I think I put this one on backwards, maybe. And then there's little elbow pads, and they go just on these little caps. Doink, like that. Like that. Okay. Now we have our little elbow joints, covers. Elbow joint covers? Where are they? They're all here. Oops, oops. careful. 
There's four of them. Two, three, and where's number four? There you are. And again, these all only go one way. Just like that. There's one. Flip it over. like that. One, two, just like that. Okay, next we got our little parts for putting the hands on. So we've got little grommets, these guys here, oink and dink, and they go only one direction. So I gotta determine that that facing up, correct? Yes. And it faces there. Like that. And like that. And then we have these guys going. same direction as the outside elbow <clears throat> and then we have his hands hand one and hand two with his little hand covers If you guys remember, I had a heck of a time trying to take these off the, the other day. But I did manage to get it. It's a matter of which way does that go. That's for the wrong hand. I think. There is that piece that holds the thumb in. Uh, I had it right the first time. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so his hands are assembled. And then we got the other pieces of his hands. And of course the instruction they switch from assembling the hands to go let's go to the shield <laughs> forget what you were doing and go to the shield <clears throat> but we have to put um, this little guy goes there and at this point it doesn't matter whether you got a left hand or a right hand his arms are the same okay so it's really up to you what you decide which side is left and which is right. I am going with that. And if I can pick this piece up. Just like that. And there. And. Bingo. There's his other hand. Okay. There's two hands, dink and doink. Okay, so with those assembled, we're not quite done because we have these pieces. They need to go in here. Just like that. Okay. Just like so. And that kind of holds that shoulder part on it. It's nice. Okay. Next thing I want you to do is put the arms on the body. But we can do that. Um, let's where's his shoulder pad here? 
Let's put a shoulder pad together. We need his little shoulder spikes, of course. And this has to go on the inside of his shoulder. It only goes one way, and it's just a matter of determining how it goes in. It does line up a certain way, and I got it right the first time, just like that. And then we put our little spikes on. are in nice and good and now we have a little joint connectors okay so this is going to go in up here It's going to sit properly on his shoulder, right? Like that. And then, arm goes on there. Just like that. So we're getting there, right? We're getting there. Now for the other arm, of course, is his shield, which is over here. In this case, it goes in like this. And that snaps on there. And then it gets tucked in like that, nice and neat. And then it goes on the other side of the body. next. So that's all on there. Now we're doing legs. So now leg day. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be assembling the feet. And what do you have to do on the feet? Well, we've got our little front covers that have to go on here. We've got rear cover. Like I said when I was painting these, these pieces don't really, you don't really see these parts. Once you get the skirts on them, you don't really see these, like at all. But that's okay. Those are done. <laughs> nice and easy. Uh, let's see, what else we got to do with the legs? We got to put these little side caps on. For those, get 
Let's straighten out his legs here. Let's use the doink, doink. That's a nice easy way to tell that's the outside of the leg. So these go, they want in a certain direction, okay? They want them facing so that the front of the little line is, is up. Which is not hard to do. So you only go on a couple of different ways. It's little notches that line them up. And so you can, if you want it, have them going the wrong way. Is it really wrong? I think it's just... Uh, it helps you to have them all facing the same direction. Otherwise it might look a little weird. Okay, so those are on. And we flip the page, because that's it for this page. Ah, we forgot a piece on the feet. Our toe covers. I haven't forgotten them because we're not, <laughs> they didn't tell me to put them on yet. But they are sitting here ready to go. See, they didn't have me put them on yet. It's kind of funny. But they do want it so that this little notch piece is up, facing up. And this little pin goes in there. literally sits just like that. So it kind of it does only go on one way. And there we go. Now the feet are done. <laughs> okay, so next step. We've got a whole bunch of stuff to put on this, these legs now. So the feet are done. They want me to put the feet on the bottom of the leg, and that's easy enough to do. It just kind of snaps in like that. That's one. Two, just like that. Okay, so there's our two legs. Now we got to do what what order of operations are we doing these in? So we want to put on the back of the calf. Do I have those out here? Not yet. Okay, so what are those? Those are these two guys here. One, two. Okay. So these go right back here, turn on which way direction we go in. I think they sit like this, or maybe they go down there. I think they sit just like that. And then they want the outside of the, the leg pieces, the leg plates. That's these guys. One and two. These are going to be next. And then these will come after. Okay. So these go to the outside and these sit like this. Okay. Just like that. Okay. like that. And so that helps to know exactly where this is going to line up. It's going to line up right there. Okay. Just like this one did. Okay. But before we put on the part around the front, we put these ones on. Okay. Just like that. Now we're going to put the front parts on, and that is these guys. And I believe they go like this. Yeah, 
this. Little pins that connect at the top. Just like that. Okay. Then that is that part there. You're done and done and done and done. Next thing, we're going to do the upper calves. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. And then we have front and rears. I don't know if we have lefts and rights. Yeah, we've got lefts and rights. So this is a front, and this is going to go on this guy. again now that you see all that detail on the inside is completely disappeared right you can't see any of that detail of all the inner structure except on those little exposed parts for the for the knee next we're going to do the skirt around the bottom which is these two goes around here, like so, and it kind of locks in with that piece and locks these two pieces together. here is not very firm. I could glue it, even though, you know, you don't have to. There we go. Next is our little tubes. And so, I have my little took them all off and I painted them all on here so let's count I don't know how many there are <laughs> um, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so nine on each A little bit tighter fit on the spring than it is on my little rod here. Shit. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go way back here. Get out of my way. It's not going to work. Damn it. One at a time is how it's going to go. Two, three, four, five, six. 
Batman. Seven. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How do you get nine on there? We do have another a little piece to go on the edge here. Doink goes in. Maybe that's how nine gets put on there. There we go. Our little tube, and of course it just does that because it's stupid. I'm not sure how I don't have enough spring for that to fit in now. fit before. See, now I've got a big extra space. Well, because the spring actually gets stretched. Okay, gonna stay in there this time. There we go. Just like that. Okay, that's one side. Now let's get the other one done. Yikes, yeah. <laughs> You're saying. There. Okay. It's much easier when you first put it all together. And then when you take it apart and uh, do that. There we go. So there's that one. That one went easier. Much easier. Okay, so those are done. We got that done. We got kneecaps. Where's my kneecaps? Oh, they're over here. Which way do the kneecaps go? With the little notch at the bottom. There we go. Just like that, kneecaps done. And then, and then, and then, Got all that done, that's the left leg, that's the left leg, da 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 da. That's all done, kneecaps done. Okay. We have to put them on the waist. I could do this like this. It's not gonna make much difference, I don't think. Or I can assemble it like this. I think I'll just assemble it first. We'll do the waist first. Not much to the waist. A couple of skirts, little crotch pieces, and things like that. So we're basically we're running out of pieces to you to put together here. We're almost done. 
We are almost done. We have these guys. These guys go inside of these. Uh, it's just which way did it go? Up here like this. This guy here, this guy gets assembled with this little piece in here. That. We're getting it all lined up and squished together. This guy goes on here. Like so. This little guy goes on the bottom here. But it's really a loose fit. that way. Which way does he go, George? Why don't they show it? There it is. They show him like this. And it doesn't... Oh, it does snap. Hey, I just wasn't pressing hard enough. All right, so that's done. And like I said, it just gets hidden in behind that, and you don't even see it under there unless you're actually looking at the bottom of it. It's it's weird. Anyway, so now we get a little bit of a tricky part. This guy has to go in like this as it goes gets put on. that because it just kind of sits in there to move just a little bit just making sure it's nice and tight there we go and this little skirt needs put on like that and this one goes on this side there we go and our side ones there's no left or right for the sides Just a matter of getting them attached to the balls. Like that. There we go. Okay, let's put the legs on. Of course, now I need to rotate these. skirts on it's a little bit hard to get these to actually snap on there we go and snapped on all right let's get our legs positioned a little bit so we can actually stand half to the lower half. It should be a nice big snap. Uh, not really, but it worked. Let's 
do this just because it looks better. There we go. There's only a couple of pieces to put on, and that's really just his weapons. These little missile pods that go on his legs. This on here, and then missiles go in through the back. The back goes on a certain way. That's up, and we have the front, wrong side. There's one. back. These go on this way. And then that goes on there. Like that. Okay. Oh, but I gotta actually put them on the legs first. <laughs> Just a little bit of a challenge. Wrap that around the leg where it belongs. Put that in there. And then it sits down like that. And that's the reason why I wanted to paint the strap the same color as the leg. That is the completed Zaku 06J. That's the one there. Let me change my camera, and you can get a get a seat here. A little bit bigger picture. There we go. So there's my color scheme changed from what should be the normal green, like this. That's how we started out just like that, light green, and now more, I think, in my opinion, it's a little bit more military color looking, like they're supposed to be military units built for war, I think that's um, just a little bit more realistic, a little bit toned down a little bit, and just, you know, the way the military does things, they're not big and bright and flashy, right? So, well, thanks, Bob. Thank you. Um, I'm happy with it. It, uh, you know, first time doing post shading ever in my life, and I think it turned out pretty good. Um, yeah, I am. I'm happy with the results. It looks good. Um, I think I will do. I'll hit it with a, a flat clear. Um, just just to seal everything in. I do have some decals to put on it too. Um, but that's basically it. Pretty much done, right? It's funny how dark it appears here on this camera compared to that one. Um, but yeah, he's got his little machine gun and he's got his bazooka and his <laughs> and his little axe. Yeah, so that's it. Done. Done and done. So that's going to be it for this build, guys. And thank you, Bob, uh, for the comments. Um, if you like this stuff and you like what I do, and you're watching me on YouTube, uh, you can check out my other builds, and uh, I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button and, uh, and follow me on there. Um, I will put uh, links to my Instagram, because I'll take a few still shots of this and uh, upload it on my Instagram. You guys who like to see that kind of stuff and uh, yeah so like I said that's it I'm gonna call it a day and 
yeah so next one next build I'm gonna be doing will be a tank I believe it's going to be the leopard um, but that uh, be a few days before I get started on that so yeah I want to thank you guys again thanks for coming out thanks Bob and uh, yeah I guess uh, we'll see you all in the next one